hear his word and say yes Lord faith brings power Know nothing except Jesus Christ crucified. So this morning I want to show you that more than praise and worship, thanksgiving is a power. So Ephesians 5.20 says, Giving thanks always for all things. Somebody say, all things. Somebody say, always. Sometimes English is funny, you know. English is such, English is a powerful language. But colloquialism, you know what colloquialism is? Colloquialism is the way we speak locally. You know? So, the colloquial understanding, which means the common understanding of our society, the word always is understood by us to mean every time. But the world always doesn't really mean every time. It means every time in every operation. Come on, if I say to you always, you think I meant continually. But the word always means in all ways. In all ways. So, giving thanks always. Huh? The word pantote really means every when. Every when. For all things. So, whenever, not whenever, every when. Whenever, not whenever, whenever. Whenever. In other words, in everything, whenever. So, in every operation, at every time, and in everything, give thanks. So, we learned from Paul and we learned from Paul in the prison when he was locked in the prison, he praised and the prison broke. Okay? Thanksgiving and praise are not one thing. Thanksgiving is a power. When you put that power in operation, it causes true praise. You understand so before you can truly praise you must step into the power of thanksgiving are you understanding something now starting to open up starting to open up so if we must give thanks always in every win so watch this whatever the circumstance it's a new circumstance thank you Thank you when. Thank you when it's tough. Thank you when it's started. Thank you when it's going. Thank you when it's finished. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> My wife is fighting with me. Thank you. <laughs> so, so, when? Now, it's painful now. Thank, Thank you. you. 
something's going to come out of it. She will change or I will change. Thank you. Thank you. So watch this. If I step into the power of thanksgiving, I give him power to use his freedom to order my life. If I'm not thankful to him, I'm excluding him from my situation. You understand? So my power to put my situation in his hand is for me to step into the power of thanksgiving. So if I say whatever, whenever, at every when, at every time, in every when, always in all things give thanks to him I am continually always at every when in every time in every when committing myself into his hands if I say I'm surrendered but I'm not in the power of thanksgiving my surrender is very small because if I'm truly surrendered I want my life to come into a living declaration of the fact nobody can do anything to me but him. You understand? So even if I made a mistake, I stepped into the realm where the devil can play with me or where life can touch me. But as I step into it, I go, sure, yo, 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 yo. Immediate surrender is possible. Why? Thank you, Jesus. So I can fix my mistake in one instant because the minute I say, thank you, Jesus, I'm saying, I know this thing can't harm me. It can't kill me. It can't say, God, you're back in my situation. Colossians 3.17. Hmm. So can you see, we thought giving thanks is when you're grateful for something. Then God is going to be happy you said thank you. It's another word of thanks, which is the word to honor him. But this word is to eucharize. It means to make something holy. (laughs) That word thanks is eucharize. It means to be grateful. If you say, I'm grateful to God for this, then you are saying this thing is God. If you say this thing is God, you said this thing is holy. (laughs) Colossians 3.17. Watch. Take it now. Take it now from circumstance and consequence to my activity. Okay. Okay. In every when and at every stage and time of every when, give thanks to the Lord. It's passive. It's saying, I bring this power into what happens to me. I'm not in control of every when. But when I give him thanks in every when, I put him in control of my every when. But now I want to take it from passive. I want to take, if, if that is my power in what I can find myself in, let me make it my power in what I myself do. So he does exactly that, Colossians 3, 17. Whatsoever you do. Whatsoever. You know what is whatsoever? Whatsoever is one word for every when, every time. He said, in everything at all times, in every when, in every time of that when, put it together, one word, whatsoever. Every what. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And whatsoever you do, whether in words or actions, because I can only, if I'm doing something, 
in the kingdom I have two doings. In the world, they don't understand the one doing. They only have one doing. In the world, they only have one doing. Doing. In the kingdom, we have two doings. Word doing and action doing. Whatsoever you do, you <laughs> God can't say to an unbeliever, whatever you do in word, because his word can do nothing. But he says to you, whatever you do in word or do, because your word is a doing. <laughs> if you're a believer, you gave a word, you did something. If you're an unbeliever, your word God. Although words have life and death is there, but you can't acknowledge doing. Because if we go to the tongue, the believer must be very careful because you're either bringing life or death with great power. So in this scripture, we're just presuming you are all right. All your words are doing. No undoing, no breaking. No, no, your words are doing. So whatever you do, it didn't say whatever you mess up. Whatever you do, whether you did it by a word or you did it by an action. Whatsoever you do in word or do. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then we stopped. <laughs> so now you will tell somebody. You quote it. I heard them quote it all the time. They said, whatever you do, do it in the name of Jesus. Whatever you do, do it in the name of Jesus. No, it's not the scripture. How do you do it in the name of Jesus? Whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. How do you do it in His name? You do it with thanksgiving. Come on. You can say, I did it in the name of Jesus, but you're doing something ugly. <laughs> so the way I do it in his name is I do it with thanksgiving. If it's not with thanksgiving, I didn't put the power of thanksgiving in my word and my action. Then my word and my action cannot be in him. But if I step into thanksgiving. Come on, you are half hearing me. I said, whatever happens in my. In, come on, man. No, go back to the first verse. Put the two, mesh the two together. In my every when, at whatever time in my when, give thanks. I told you, it's my power for him to be in my every when, at every time. You got the revelation. Now watch. I'm doing the same thing to make sure that his power is the one that's operational in my word and my action. So I find myself in it. I'm in my every when, at whatever time. I say, thank you, Jesus. Now he's there. So now I'm in action or word. I want to be sure he's in that action or he's in that word. I make sure it's in his name. How do I ensure his power of his name is in it? I put thanksgiving with it. If I put thanksgiving to him for what I'm saying or what I'm doing, I'm honoring him and what I'm saying or doing. He's in my activity. Say, oh, he's thanking me for what he's doing. I better be involved in what he's doing. So not when everything you say or do, do it in his name. No. <laughs> in everything you say or do, put it in his name by using the power of thanksgiving. That's what it's. <sighs> now let's, 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 
Let's mess up these praise and worship people now. <laughs> because they think the fruit of their lips, they think they were bearing it. Hebrews 13, 15. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips. You stop there. By him, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise. Oh, worshiper, that's me. I know how to do that. The fruit of our lips. You were, you were hanging there. Your power was there. My sacrifice is to praise. You said that's the fruit of my lips. Uh, uh, uh. If your lips must bear fruit, you, didn't, you must finish the verse because the power is not there. The power is at the end. He said, by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. What is that continually? In my every when, every time, whatsoever. <laughs> we back there. That is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name. So the fruit of my lips is not the praise continually. The fruit of my lips is giving thanks when, how? Making a sacrifice to praise in my every way. How can I praise now? The verse is back to front. My sacrifice of praising comes from my power to step into the power of thanksgiving. So when that thanksgiving comes on my lips, then it's praise. Now I can make a sacrifice. Yeah. To <laughs> Philippians 4, 6. Worry about nothing but in everything. What is that nothing? It's everything that is outside of your every when at every time. What can be outside of your every when and every time? No thing. No thing. <laughs> huh? Right. So, don't give a hoot about anything because all my thing is in my power of thanksgiving. By, where are we? Speaking and petitions. How? With thanksgiving. How do I know I will get my petition? How do I know he will hear my speaking? I put it with thanksgiving. I step first into the power of thanksgiving. Now I put my petition, I put my speaking. Let, that's how. How do I let my requests be known to him? I make my requests known from outside of my dimension of thanksgiving. So, with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving, I don't know, I don't want to get into, I don't want to get into theologies here. But I can try. That word with is the word meta. It means to add it, it means to follow with it, okay? So, whatever, the end is my requests made known to God. So I'm supplicating, I'm making petitions. I'm speaking, I'm praying, pray, I'm speaking, okay? I'm speaking on somebody's behalf, that's what we were dealing with. Here I'm speaking on whose behalf? my behalf okay so 
for their behalf, okay, for their behalf, I can put them in the power of thanksgiving. Obvious, on my behalf, I must be in the power of thanksgiving. So whatever my petition is, whatever my speaking is, meta, if I add on to it, if it is if it is followed by or added with thanksgiving, then I'm bringing all that petition, I'm bringing all that speaking into the power of thanksgiving. Okay, so in everything at all, let your supplication and prayer, are you there? Be careful for nothing. In other words, I shouldn't have to worry, be caring, be anxious, be nervous. I shouldn't have to be concerned about anything because my everything, my every when is brought into the power of thanksgiving. So if there's an any when or an anything that I need to still petition or speak, I still shouldn't worry because I just make sure I add to that petition. I just make sure that I add to my request is made with that thanksgiving. Okay, okay. You didn't even get to the power because I only dealt with the width of adding thanksgiving. But there's another width which is N, which really implies position, okay? It's denoting a position or a state, okay? It actually means altogether, it, it actually means fixed position in place, time or state. So when I say with, it doesn't mean that's what I'm adding. It means directly that's what I'm using to do it. So I won't get into the full power of it with faith because I'm gonna show you something else that will take you beyond today. You're not ready for it. You must meditate this. When he says with thanksgiving, there's two with. One with means to continue it or to add it. The other with is the meaning of it's the tool of it. So if I say I eat food with potatoes, it's meta. It means I eat food, potatoes are added there. Make supplication and prayer with thanksgiving. But if I say I eat food with a fork, it doesn't mean I eat the fork. It means I use the fork. Come on. Your new house is not in your faith. It's in your thanksgiving. <laughs> your new car. Thank you, Jesus. Your ongoing supply. Your faith must bring you to the thanksgiving. But your supply is in the thanksgiving. Oh, my father. Sure. Your thanksgiving, your abundance. Colossians 4 2. Continue in prayer and watch in the same. In other words, continue in prayer and watch in it. That word watch is say Gregorio. Gregorio. Continue in prayer and Gregorio in it. It's easy, you know, it just means stay awake. So in other words, be content continuing and staying awake in ongoing prayer. Not meta, in. Not be in your plate, always eating it with gravy. No, be in your plate, eating it with a fork. 
be continuing in your and awake in your prayer not with thanksgiving in your prayers no be continuing and ongoing awake in your prayer by using thanksgiving see continue in prayer and watch in the same and thanksgiving so thanksgiving is the tool to be awake and continuing in prayer how am I staying awake and continuing in a prayer thanksgiving is my power to be awake in my continuing prayer 